While narcissism has been a personality trait that has been around for a long time, narcissistic personality disorder and narcissistic personality traits have been in the public eye more often in recent years. As awareness increases surrounding narcissistic traits, people are wondering if they are dealing with a narcissist rather than someone who is simply selfish, thoughtless, or overly power-seeking in a more general way. Narcissists are a specific type of person, and dealing with them is never easy. That's why it helps to know when you have one in your life and what to expect from interactions with them. This knowledge, recognition, and understanding can provide you with some clues is how to deal with them in the safest way possible. But before we move on, we need your support by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and please click the bell icon to receive new video updates. The first step on how to deal with a narcissist is to determine the type you're dealing with. Vulnerable narcissists don't feel particularly good about themselves at heart. In contrast to grandiose narcissists, they are less out there with their emotions. And so, you may not realize when they are undercutting you or getting in your way. If you're trying to put people in your family or on your work team to best use, the grandiose narcissist might be your best ally. As long as you can get that person on board with your overall group's goals. Second, acknowledge your annoyance. Narcissists can be antagonists and can get under your skin. If you're trying to get something done and one person is always interrupting or trying to shine the spotlight on himself or herself, recognizing where your frustration is coming from can help you get the strength you need to put a stop to it. Third, evaluate the situation. Narcissism is not all or nothing personality trait. Some situations may elicit a person's insecurities more than others. Let's say a woman was turned down for a promotion she wanted very much, and now she must continue to work with the person who got the job. Her insecurity will only worsen with the time, leading her to become defensively narcissistic, vindictive, and spiteful. If you know a person like this, it's important to remember that the situation helped create the monster with whom you must now interact. Fourth, appreciate where their behavior stems from. Vulnerable narcissists need to make themselves feel better about themselves, which is why they can become very sneaky and undercutting. They may question your authority just to create mischief. Once you recognize that they are coming from a place of insecurity, you can provide them with just enough reassurance to get them to settle down and focus on what needs to be done. Too much reassurance and you'll fan their egocentric flame. But the right amount will allow them to calm down and get to the task at hand. Fifth, maintain a positive outlook. If you're dealing with narcissists who derive pleasure from watching others suffer, then seeing the pain they cause will only egg them on to more aggressive counter behavior. Don't look ruffled, even if you're feeling annoyed, and eventually the behavior will diminish in frequency. Sixth, keep your sense of humor. Calling a narcissist's bluff may mean that you ignore the person, but it might also mean that you meet the bluff with a laugh at least once in a while. Without being cruel about it, you can point to the inappropriateness of the person's egocentric behavior with a smile or with a joke. This would be particularly appropriate for the grandiose type of narcissist, who would probably find it entertaining and possibly instructive. Seventh, Recognize that the person may need help because some narcissists have low self-esteem and profound feelings of inadequacy. It's important to recognize when they can benefit from professional intervention. Despite the belief that personality is immutable, psychotherapy research shows that people can change even long-standing behaviors. Bolstering the individual's self-esteem may not be something you can tackle on your own, but it is something you can work on with outside help. Do you know or have dealt with a person who shows a narcissistic behavior? If so, we would love to hear your stories in the comments below.